welcome to the tutorial on java programming so in this tutorial we are going to learn a very basic introduction about java programming so what is java so java is a general purpose computer programming language that is used in concurrent application class based application object oriented application and specially designed for uh, latest technologies it is intended to provide a write once and run many application that means Java program doesn't uh, require to uh, compile more and more in a different platform. So it, it, it requires only to write out once and it can be run in any platform. So why we are going to use Java? So we can use Java for a variety of uh, functionalities and applications. But the main thing is portability and easy to learn. The term portability refers to it can portable to all the operating system and it can be sometimes as a mission independent, platform independent and sometimes used in language independent also. So in the upcoming uh, sessions we will learn about a web service which can provide the functionalities of Java which is language independent as well. And uh, if we use this Java technology in internet we can call it as Java for en Enterprise Edition. So the main thing in Java is JVM. So JVM is nothing but a Java virtual machine. So it is like a virtual machine which can able to run a Java program and that converts that into a class file which can be provide a platform independence. So we will see what is the difference between platform dependent and platform independent. Consider a C program which is a platform dependent program. When you compile a C program using a GCC com command, it will create a executable file called a file name.exe. This file name.exe can be executed only on Windows operating system, not on any other operating systems like Linux and uh, other environments. But when you consider this platform independent, consider a case that when a Java program is compiled, for example, myprogram.java, when it is compiled with the command Java C, it creates a bytecode. Bytecode is nothing but a class file. And this class file can be consumed in any Java machine that is installed in any operating system or uh, it is independent of OS and it is independent of hardware. So now we will see a basic program to demonstrate the Java application. So what we will do is we will have a, a basic Java program that demonstrate uh, about the functionalities and the structure of Java program. So first thing in Java is class. First we have to create a class and this class can have a class name for example in, in this case we will be having hello world and which will be having an open and close curly bracket and uh, in C we will be having a, a main function called void main but in Java we should have a main function called public static void main and by default every Java program consumes uh, the data type as a string so we have to use the string data type as a passing parameter now if I want to print something in a Java I can use a statement called system dot out dot println followed by the string I want to print since we are using a first uh, Java program we will use uh, a word called hello world now let me revise this. So first we have to create a class that is class name hello world and uh, normally if you are a good programmer you should specify the class name. The first character of the class name should be a capital letter and uh, the main function of Java program is public static void main. This public specifies the access specifier. You should not put any private here because this is a main function if it is like a user defined function you can give a access specifier private protected and so many things and this static is a keyword we will discuss in the upcoming sessions and this void main specifies the main function or a main method of a java program and this string args by default every java program consumes the data type as string so we have to use string args array and the print up statement is system.out.println followed by the string.
tutorial we are going to see how to compile a java program and how to run a java program so in the last tutorial we have created a class name called hello world and we have to save this file name as hello world.java so before that i will be creating a folder let's say the folder name is um, java So then we will uh, save this file as hello world java and the main thing we have to set specify is we have to save as type as all files because when you give text document that is .ex the file name will be saved as hello world.java.txt so save as type is all files so now save this application to run this application so we have to go to the command prompt. So in this command prompt, I'm going to search for the desktop, cd desktop. Then in that desktop, I'm going to see the folder called Java. So it will be there. So inside that Java, already we have created a file name called hello world at Java. Now what we have to do is we have to compile this Java file. For compiling this java file, first the command is java c space file name dot java. So when you press enter, the compilation process will be completed. Now if you uh, view the folder, the two files will be generated. One is hello world dot class and hello world dot java. So when you compile a java program, it will create a file name called hello world dot class. And uh, normally the class name should be same name as a class name. And here in this case, the file name and the class name are same. So we are it will be generating hello world of class. To run this Java program, there is another command called Java space hello world. So now it will execute the uh, word hello world. So this is how we have to compile a Java program and running a Java program. So the main thing is to compile a Java program, we have to use Java C and to run a Java program, we have to use Java. For compilation purpose, we have to use the command Java C space file name Java. To run the application, we have to use the keyword Java space followed by the class name. 